AI is taking the world by storm and eventually might replace every aspect of 3D, which means AI is coming for our livelihoods. And we can't have that. It's time to challenge these AI f in a one-on-one -on -one duel and show them that we humans are still king on these streets. Or grass. And if I lose, I think it's safe to say there's no point in learning Blender anymore and I actually might just have to uninstall it altogether. To settle this once and for all, I'm going to be doing three challenges, all revolving. Dude, I was doing the intro. Meet Kai. Hi everyone. He's been sent here by his AI overlords to represent them. And as you can see, he looks very artificial. Although I have to say he reminds me of this handsome fella I know. Anyways, so we're doing three animation related challenges where we're putting up Kai's newest AI advancements against my 10 years of experience in design and animation and some of the newest non-AI technologies available. Let's begin with one of the basics of animation, the bouncy ball. Nice. It's something every animator has done before and it's a true staple in learning animation. The final result will be judged based on speed and looks and I'll begin, so you get yeah, the hell yeah, out. Yeah. I don't want you looking right, over my right. shoulder and training that want. silly algorithm of yours with my experience. Let's start by creating the major keyframe positions, also known as the blockout for the ball, and have these keyframes set to constant interpolation so we can clearly see each step of the animation. Add additional keyframes and apply squash and stretch to them. This is one of the most important animation principles originally coined by Disney and is used to signify our ball having momentum and impact the ground. You can do this by scaling the ball to stretch when moving fast and to squash it when losing speed. For realism, it's important to maintain the ball's volume when doing this. So if it stretches, it also becomes thinner. And if it squashes, it also becomes wider. Change the timing of the existing keyframes to determine the look of the bounce. Change the keyframe interpolation back to Bezier to smoothen the animation. Finally, tweak all the curves in the graph editor to really emphasize movement for the ball by changing, scaling and altering the keyframe handles. Voila! One bouncy ball animation delivered to your doorstep in about 30 minutes. Now let's see if these almighty AIs can do that. Yo! Kai! Yeah? You can come back in and show us how you're going to do this. Really, dude. All right, let me do my thing. You get out of here. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> okay, so I hope I can use my buddy ChatGPT's brilliance for this one. Here we go. Hi, friend. Can you create a bouncing ball animation script for Blender 3D? Aha, <laughs> there we have it. Immediate results. Now, in Blender, I only need to paste the script and run it. There you go. How long did that take? 30 seconds? Ha! <laughs> that dude just took 30 minutes. <laughs> Sucker. Let's play back the animation and show him the power of AI. Okay, okay. <laughs> Look at that. Um, it's not even working. It's what? just going right through the floor, dude. Uh, let me change the prompt. Yeah, nah. AI is just way too dumb, even for simple <laughs> you know animations what? like this. I, I demand one more try. I can fix this. Nah. Come on, bro. Don't okay, like okay. This. You'll get one more try. Doesn't feel good winning that easily anyways, so go ahead. Uh, once more. I, I know what to do. Uh, again? Uh, I don't get this. Maybe this? That was easy enough. You AI law didn't even stand a chance. All that knowledge and nothing to show for it, really. <laughs> you know, I'm actually quite confident I can beat you again. So you can pick the second challenge, Kai. Don't underestimate us. I'm going with rigging. How about that, huh? Okay. Rigging. I don't know much about rigging, honestly, besides the very basics, but it's been a crucial part of animation for a long time now. So it's, it's a fair choice. All right, so we're doing one simple character rig and whoever's fastest wins. Agreed? Yes. 
Let's go. Luckily for me, I actually recently bought this amazing add-on called Auto Rig Pro that will make up for my lack in skills. I hope. In the Auto Rig Pro tab, I can click on Smart Rig, which will let me define certain joints on this character. Like for example, the neck, chin, shoulders, wrists, spine root, and ankles. Now I can set the amount of fingers and spine bones and get an automatically generated skeleton. It's not going to be 100% accurate though, so I'll have to move some of these bones around, especially oh, no. in the hands, which is going to take a while. In the meantime, Kai, you can explain how you're going to try and beat me. <laughs> You think you can beat me with manual rigging tools? Crazy. This challenge is going to be a piece of cake. I'll use an AI tool called AccuRig, which lets me upload my character here, and it's basically going to do everything for me. In a couple of clicks, it'll find all crucial joints for both body and hands, and fully rigs it. See? It even has a built-in motion library, so you can see how great it is after you've only spent seconds setting it up. Victory shall be mine! Ha 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 Wait, y you're done? Yep, loser. Damn, okay. So I'm still finishing up aligning the bones actually, and then I still have to turn this into a rig here and skin the rig to my character using this tab and maybe tweak the automatic weights a little bit for a cleaner result and- So you want me to uninstall Blender for you right now? Damn, I, I didn't see that coming. Told you. I really need to win this next one. So for challenge number three, I propose to do something really difficult. Character animation. I, I think there's no way AI can do that. So, you know, it's a safe win for me. Uh, you're still saying that after I just wiped the floor <laughs> with you? Yeah. Okay, so the goal is to animate some jumping jacks, a few punches, and maybe a kick or two. Let's just see who gets the cleanest animation in the end. Um, you do you, Kai, but I'm actually gonna head downstairs, maybe grab a cup of coffee. Yeah, sure, buddy. Enjoy the coffee. Now, Kai doesn't know this, but... I managed to get a wall of Rococo and asked them to send me a full body motion capture suit. They actually said yes, so that's what I'll be using for this challenge. Yeah, please don't tell him. So while he doesn't notice, I'm putting on this suit. Keep on the zip up. You know what, just... We are actually connected. I can even record facial captures with my phone and their app. It's really just that simple. So now let's hit calibrate here in Rococo Studio and hit record to simply get all the animations we need. Kai is never going to beat that. <laughs> he thinks he's got me done for, but I know what he's doing downstairs. I'm an internet powered AI. You think I don't have access to your browser history? <laughs> A few moments later. Alright, so without him noticing there, I managed to sneak a quick video of him doing those silly moves. That fool probably doesn't even know, but Rococo also has a free AI power tool, which is perfect for this. I just need to upload the footage there, trim the part I need, and let it process. I can then simply send it over to Rococo Studio and export it to Blender. So... That was some good coffee. Right, right. You're probably not done yet, right, Kai? I am actually. You are? Okay. Well, you know, let's put our animation side by side and see who's got the win here. <laughs> I told you I'd win this. Mine's definitely better. I'll, although yours isn't bad either, I have to uh, admit. You cheated. Wait. You used an expensive suit. How do you know that? Well... Maybe I did, but you're using a trained computer algorithm to do all the work for you, and that ain't cheating to you? Alright, I just love winning. I knew in the end the human race would prevail. That suit really came in clutch there. You know what? You want one too, Kai? Rococo actually sent me two of these and I don't need to, so, you know, you can have one. Oh, wow, you do that for me? For an enemy? Well, you know, I think AI is here to stay, and although it'll never completely replace us humans, hopefully, it does have some advantages as well. I mean, I don't like rigging in particular, and seeing you use that tool was completely mind-blowing to me. So, I guess there's something to say for you guys. How about, instead of being enemies, we be friends? Friends? 
Really? I've never had a friend before. Yeah, friends. Stronger together. Wow, that is great. I am so happy. But you know, Kaizen, I can actually use this suit since I am digital. Why don't you give it to someone who can use it to create some cool stuff? That's actually a really good idea, Kai. So yeah, you. If you want one of these amazing full body motion capture suits, leave behind a creative comment with this emoji and you'll get a chance at winning a $3,500 full performance capture suit with compliments from Rococo. And in a couple of weeks, I'll do a live stream where I'll select a random winner amongst everybody who's left a comment. That's all for me. And I'll let my new friend here oh. do the outro. Um, yeah, so AI is pretty great if you ask me, but there is still a ton of things we cannot do, like creating a smart material, for example. So check out this video to level up your shading skills.